Hey guys, Swatch up here with my 400,000 subscriber celebration video. 400,000 is a big number. I don't know what to say about it really, it's insane, absolutely insane. The fact that so many of you watch my videos and subscribe to me and all that lovely business is bonkers. Seriously bonkers, there's no other word for it, it's absolutely crazy. So thank you so much for you guys for subscribing, for watching my videos, it means so much to me keeps me doing what I'm doing, keeps me chugging on, and, you know, I'm just, I'm so grateful, like, seriously, I really am, so thank you so much for you guys watching. Uh, what I wanted to do for this video, I'd thought about for a very, 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 very long time. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, I thought maybe, you know, maybe I'll do a day in the life of Foxtrot, you know, I'll do a little bit of a vlog, but then I realised my life isn't interesting and I don't do anything, so that probably wouldn't make a good video. Then I thought maybe I would do, like, a Q&A, or like a story of my life, but I kind of did that with my Draw My Life, my 200,000 video, and I do a Q&A every month anyway, so that doesn't really make sense. Maybe I'll do a giveaway, but I kind of want to do something a bit more, but I will actually be, you know, my, my October giveaway is on right now, so you can check the description to win some RP if you want to do that. Uh, but I wanted to do something different for this video. My whole goal for YouTube right now is to have you guys more interested in me as a person, right? Not so much Foxtrot, The League of Legends, Jungler, but, you know, Dan. That's my name. That's my real name, Dan. I want you guys to watch for Dan, for for me as a person. It doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing U uh, League of Legends YouTube stuff. I just mean, yes, I love the fact that you guys are interested in my content, but it would be great if you were more interested in me, because then we could have more of a personal thing going on here, and uh, I think it would just make for a better channel, honestly. So that, that's, that's where I'm moving towards. So I'm going to try and give you guys more of an insight on you know my personal side of things so you guys can form more of a personal attachment to me so what i want to do for this video is i just want to update you on my situation uh it's kind of you know an update from my draw my life video and then just give you some advice that i picked up from my youtube my real life stuff that you can apply to either your real life or into league of legends if that's what you care about so firstly i want to give you an update on my on my life so, as you know, I won't go into too much detail because I already mentioned a lot of it in my draw my life, but as you know, I had a huge like anxiety and depression problems uh, ca caused by like a death of essentially what was my mum in the family. And, you know, I was really struggling with that for a very, very, very long time. It's been, you know, like six years since it happened and I'm still, you know, feeling it. Uh, but as an update, uh, I'm doing better. You'll be pleased to hear, I guess. <laughs> I'm doing better. I've been visiting different events. Uh, meeting you guys is always really awesome. That is my main motivation to get better is to see you guys, to go to events and just to really revel in the extremely fortunate position that I find myself in as a content creator. We're going to different events, which has been awesome. I actually went to LA as well, Los Angeles. I went to the Riot Creator Lab. I don't know how I managed that. I look back at it and I think, bloody hell, Fox, you are crazy. And I look about doing something similar in the future and I think, no way, that is way too scary. But, yeah, I don't know how I did it, but I managed it, so that was cool. And uh, the next thing on the radar is Worlds in London, the quarterfinals. So that should be a lot of fun, hopefully, but, you know, you know how it is. Anyway, moving on to the advice that I want to give you guys. I want to start with uh, my first piece of advice, which is to not think about things as absolutes. What I mean by that is to give yourself some leeway, to cut yourself some slack, when it comes to things. Don't think about things as just black and white, but accept the grey areas as well. Uh, how I apply that to my real life and my YouTube uh, is some days for my YouTube, I will just be like really, really demotivated. Now, when I was like in the worst part of my depression, I would feel this like every minute of every day, of every week of every month of my life. Now I don't feel it as much, but I still get it every now and then. Uh, I feel like, you know, I don't want to make videos. I feel like I don't want to even go on my Twitter or my Facebook. I feel like I don't want to talk to my friends. I feel like I don't want to go out. I feel like I don't want to do anything. And on those days, uh, it can I can get a bit down on myself, but I try to think, I'm not always good at doing this, but I try to think of it from the point of view of, all right, you're not motivated today, but that's okay. Tomorrow, maybe you will. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe the day afterwards. And to not think of myself as a bad YouTuber because I'm not motivated to make videos. To think of myself, you're a good YouTuber on a bad day. Likewise, for my real life, if I ever get really overwhelmed with my anxiety or I don't think it like I'm handling handling it very well, I can think to myself, all right, tomorrow you'll handle it better. Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe the day afterwards. You are not spiraling out of control going back to that dark place you're in in the past. You are just, you know, you're a good person on a bad day. You can actually use that on your girlfriend, if any of you guys have a girlfriend. 
I know that wasn't a joke. I, I mean that seriously. <laughs> you can use it to say if any any girls are saying, "Oh, I look so ugly in this photo," say, "No, you don't look ugly. It's an ugly photo of a beautiful girl." You'd be surprised how how much that works. It's a similar concept. And in League of Legends, it's the same thing. Where if you if you get crushed in a game, you know, if you feed really hard or uh, your teammates just like go AFK or rage, whatever it is. Don't think of it in an absolute setting. Don't don't think of it as oh I'm shit this game. Oh ranked sucks. Oh I'm in need of help. Don't think of it like that. Think of it like, well I'm a good player but I had a bad game. I fed whatever it happens. It's fine. Or, well, ranked ranked may have its hard times when you have bad teammates, but it's just a bad game. Next game will be better. Maybe not next game. Maybe the, the game after. So don't don't think of things in absolutes. Don't let isolated individual instances cloud your vision of like the overall experience. The next piece of advice that I want to give is to not judge yourself or compare yourself to either your goals that you've set yourself or your uh, peers or people that are better than you. I do this a fair amount and I really shouldn't and I'm trying to stop doing it, but I do it when it comes to YouTube where I'm always looking at... Uh, the YouTubers who I think are better YouTubers than me, better content creators than me. I look at them and I think, why am I not as good as them? And I look at their numbers, their statistics, you know, their growth, their views. And I think, why don't I get those growths? Why don't I get those those views? I don't think of that in a self-pitying way. I think of it as, what am I doing wrong? That, you know, that means that I'm not getting as as much. And I can really get myself down about it. And honestly, my, my 400,000 milestone didn't feel as special to me because, you know, I, I, I felt like... It, it just, it didn't compare to what some other people were doing. You know, Red Mercy's hit 600, Rofresco's hit 500. And these guys are people, you know, that I, I, I love, I look up to. They're, they're, they're great content creators. And I'm just thinking, why, what can I do better? And I get kind of down about it. And I really shouldn't. You know, I shouldn't judge myself based off of, of what my uh, my peers are doing I sh- or people that are better than me doing I should just judge myself based off what I'm doing focus on myself focus on my own progress the pro uh, the process involved for me to grow that's all I need to worry about and uh, in my real life as well I think I get kind of down on myself where I can struggle to do the simplest of things going out doing stuff I get churned up about going to events especially I get really churned up about really anxious about that and I think to myself, why is it that I struggle with these things that I should really be looking forward to? I should be excited about these things, but I'm not. I'm just terrified of them. And it pisses me off because I want to be excited. I want to be normal in the sense where I can look forward to something that I should be looking forward to and just feel happy about it. Be like, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going to like doing this. I'm going to enjoy doing this. I want to do this. And it fucks me right off when I'm when that boundary is there where I just feel like shit. I have the butterflies. And then even though they're, they are perfectly normal, that's something like it makes it even worse. That my feelings are perfectly normal. Everyone feels them. It's just me that can't handle them. And that really fucks me off. But instead of getting angry at myself thinking like that, I should just think, well, all right, yes, I want to be in a position where I'm not feeling like that, but that will come. It's a progress, right? I just focus on the, 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 the journey rather than the destination. And how, you know, I, you can apply that to league is if you have, say you're like silver three and uh, your goal is to hit, hit gold you get promoted you're probably not going to be as happy because you're going to think yeah well I got promoted but I'm not quite gold yet and that's where I want to be or if you have a friend who say is like you know low plat and you are you know you got promoted from silver two to silver one congratulations but you're not that happy because well yeah I may have got promoted in silver but my friends in plat so silver doesn't really mean anything if you judge yourself based off of things that are higher than yourself like your goals or people that are better you'll never be happy You'll never be satisfied with your achievements. You won't view them as achievements. You, you know, you'll just feel incomplete. It, 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 maybe that sounded a bit dramatic, but you know what I mean. Like it, it doesn't feel as rewarding, and you won't be as happy. And I, you know, I can feel that in my life at times as well. Well, I'm not as happy as I should be because I'm judging myself of things that I shouldn't be. But anyway, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, this style of video. I'm just, I'm, I didn't script any of this. I didn't, I know what I wanted to say, obviously, but I just 
you know, I was talking out my ass really. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for the 400,000. Hopefully I'll be making a similar video when we hit 500,000 and then every milestone after that. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, all of you guys checking my videos out, watching them, supporting me, making me what I am today. Without you guys, it wouldn't be anything. So I really, 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 really appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for watching all of my videos. As always, I hope you have a great day. Seriously, I do. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video.